Hi. I'm going to make a video on YouTube, but before I start I want to make some disclaimers. I'm a normal guy. I get excited, I get emotional. So, if you're easily offended, you may not want to watch this video because there will be foul language, possibly. I'm not saying I use it to excess. There could be expletives and bad words. Again, if you're easily offended, I, I may actually fart, burp, pick my nose, and do things that people do when they don't think anyone is watching because I get really involved in my work. You know, and again, I, I, if I get frustrated, I might say bad words such as ass and shit and fuck and maybe some other ones too. I'll be probably putting this disclaimer in front of all of my videos. This video is going to be about a repair on a 2006. It is a 2006 Suzuki S50 Boulevard. What I'm basically doing is I'm replacing the radiator. It's a fairly good repair. In a car, Replacing a radiator is maybe an hour on a, you know, but in a motorcycle, holy moly. Yeah, I just got finished, but I'm making this video, this, this is going to get put at the beginning of the video as the disclaimer. I am by not, I am not a certified mechanic. Okay, I just do things in my backyard, but I do have air tools. I've done more than a few tricky jobs. I'm not saying my methods are the best. You may want to get an owner's or a repair manual yourself. You may wish to take it to a mechanic and pay them to do it. Whichever you choose, you know. Anyhow, happy watching. Hi, I am making this video to show you how to remove the radiator from a 2000 and... This is either a 5 or a 6, 2005 or 6. Suzuki S50 Boulevard. The first thing that has to come off in this bike, and yours may or may not have it, stock bikes do not have this, but in my case, the highway bars have to come off. Um, this can be tricky because uh, highway bars are usually a custom type of a deal, so Whatever I show you here may or may not fit your application, but you're certainly welcome to follow along. If yours has highway bars, those will need to come off. There's just no other way around it. No, the radiator will not slide out from behind. No way. It's just going to get in your way until you get it out of the way. So, it's going to take me a minute to do that. I normally would use some power tools, but it's raining, and uh, this here is a confined space, and I, I don't feel like having an air hose up in here and all that mess. It helps to have a parts tray keep all your nuts and bolts. Yeah. Always something. Well, right, right when you think the job's going to be easy. Helps if you uh, if you have time and space. 
need to be careful not to bang the bike with the tools like I just did. I use a cutout gallon jug of what used to contain either antifreeze or oil. I cut this out and this will catch whatever antifreeze comes out in a nice convenient drip pan. You do need to catch it. Mm, I mean you can let it go in the ground but it's not cool. And the reason you need to catch it is because it's deadly to animals. And the reason I say animals is because, I mean, humans might drink it too. It's sweet. It really is. It's not, it doesn't taste good, but it's good enough for an animal. They will drink it. So, now to get this thing off of here, you need, I believe this is a metric bike. Most of them are. Suzuki. And uh, so the top bolt is an 8 millimeter. And you need to remove these four. See, my top two are also holding on the highway bar. when that's out of the way because this thing is really cramping me up in here but highway bar or not these these here need to come off they're holding on the cover this is also how you check your uh, antifreeze level or uh, if it needs topping off you, you have to remove this cover okay your bike probably doesn't have this grate. That's aftermarket. The radiator's right behind it. You know. Uh, see there there's your radiator. It's behind this this cover here. See it? Yeah. So I continue to work on it. Okay, should be good. I'm still recording. Yep. Yeah. Right. There's another bolt on the other side, just like it. I don't know if the camera's got the right angle, but it's right up in here. Again, eight millimeter, top two bolts. Yours may, I mean, the bolts are the same flipping thing. You could use them interchangeably. Um, mine had these 8 millimeters on top, and there, there's the highway bar. If yours has this highway bar, you want to hold on to it with one hand. Now, son of a gun. some guys they don't mind paying the money to have the mechanic work on it I mean however you want to do it but I'm on a budget and I have to do this work by myself I, I can't be a poor I can't afford to pay somebody else to do it I really cannot Unbelievably stubborn long bolt up in there. There we go. Alright, move the highway bar out of the way. That should do it. <laughs> now, 
Now hopefully this bottom takes a 10 millimeter. The bottom two take 10 millimeter bolts. And I'm going to try and remove the far one first this time. As you can see, the cover's starting to come off. Unbelievable. I mean, if you can get them off my hands, that helps save some time, but... care of this. Like I said, I had this aftermarket grate here to help protect the radiator from road debris. Here's your radiator. Now, I'm not real sure how it comes off. Huh. Downright interesting. I do know this has to come off. The bottom hose. There's one up here somewhere too, right up in here. Oh yeah, this, this is going to be a joy, folks. But it almost seems like... Time to get a Phillips. Yeah, screwdriver. Oh, man. Yeah, I normally don't pick the rainy days, but... This is the working season for me, and so... When it's raining, I don't have to work. Only time. And, uh, you gotta be real careful. I'm gonna show you how to take this bottom hose off. I usually get like a flathead screwdriver, but you gotta be careful. And just kind of poke it on in there a little bit and try to loosen that stuff up. Once you see the antifreeze start dripping, you're in good shape. But you got to be careful because you can easily poke a hole in that hose. Oh man. What I'm going to do is. Loosen the cap, give it some air. Probably gonna take it a minute to leak out. Yeah, yeah, loosen the cap gives it some air and it allows that antifreeze to come on out. I probably will not be reusing this antifreeze, and I'm saying that now because I might run out of video. You may or may not appreciate this, but I'm probably gonna go. I'm gonna go get a rag so I can keep my hands so I'm kind of clean. too much to get a bunch of fluids on my hands because uh, you lose your feeling not permanently but oh my gosh you know and, and you get all cruddy hands and you can't feel what you're doing anymore Yeah, it's 
it's a real trick, man. You can easily poke a hose in two with that stupid screwdriver trick. Uh, experience helps, and I better not talk too much trash here. I'm gonna try and get it off. <clears throat> Good. Now, <laughs> I'll go ahead and put the cap aside. This cap is still good. Oh, son of a gun, I'll tell you. And, uh, not real sure. Oh, there's a grate here, too. Huh. I'll be done. That's awful interesting. But you see, there's damage here from road debris. The reason I'm replacing this radiator uh, is because of the old one, but it's because it leaks. It looks like I'm going to have to remove this thing here. There's a little screw right there. Phillips. side too I'm sure. And uh, just basically unclips over here. That was a mis that was an error there. I set that wrong. It does on clip, but not like that. You just gotta keep loosening that screw. physical uh, endurance there and uh, there's another one right there son of a gun I don't know how I'm gonna get to that one oh there we go again right there I got to it by moving the steering
not really sure if the gas tank needs to come off. I think it actually does. Oh yeah. Well, I'm going to stop this video because this is going to be an intense repair. Basically, the seat and the gas tank has to come off so I can get to the screws up in here. I mean, I may be able to get to it. But, I don't think so. I think the gas tank needs to come off. And for that, this will need to come off. So, that's the end of that video. Alright, here's the second part. I'm going to show you now. I did decide to go ahead with this repair because now I got me a little air tool. It is going to make some noise. And uh, basically, I'm going to take the seat off. For that to happen, this here needs to come off. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is this, this is progress, you know. Once that comes off, uh, then this one needs to come off. Yeah, I tell you what, it is a cramped space. It stinks to have air tools stuck up in here with the air hose and all this mess. But it sure makes a quick job out of this. Otherwise, uh, you know. Definitely. The enjoyable part of my job. You know. And the seat. Rub it up a bit. Something. Oh, yes, yes. <laughs> well, a couple of things I'm forgetting. One is this, the bolt that fell down. I do want to retrieve that. There it is. This one over here. So. Yeah, buddy, that sure saves a bunch of frickin' wrenching time. And, uh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. take the gas tank off, you need to come over here and turn the fuel off and then disconnect to this. A little bit of fuel might leak. You need a plier. Some kind of might work. I'll try this one.
fuel started off, the fuel tank should just slide right out. Oh yeah, yeah. Set that bad boy up over here. Hopefully it doesn't fall. And uh, I believe the next step is going to be pulling those screws out. Boy, it sure would be nice if I had a little screwdriver I could use with that tool, but I think while I'm just talking, yeah, these were not too terribly awful stubborn. Uh, got those loose. I'm going to do this other side. Like I said, yeah, the seat and the gas tank has to come off in order for the radiator on the Suzuki Boulevard to be replaced. i pull these off over here. I don't know if that needs to come off, but these two do. Basically, I mean, oh boy, this is this is gonna be a joy getting it back in there. I'm gonna try not to get it completely off because. No, oh, that one came off. Now I'm gonna stop this video. What I'm gonna do next is take the rag and clean all this up. Well, don't necessarily have to stop the video for that. This rag and uh, yeah, this would probably come off if some of these cables weren't there. We go. That that's that's that bottom bracket earlier that where that little screw goes in. So you see, it just flips over like that, and then the screw. What I'm gonna do to make this a quick process. Grab some gasoline. Basically, douse this rag in a little bit of gasoline like that. Uh, cleaning your bike in gasoline is probably not the manufacturing recommended procedure. sure makes a quick job out of this here. You know, I'm not, not particularly fond of spending more time than I have to on this repair. I'm already not, not really happy that uh, all those extra covers have to come off. When I do a repair, I do like to clean what I'm working with, all the parts and everything. So it actually looks like I worked on it one, two. It makes it more of a pleasure if you ever have to go in there again. Three, if you ever need to take it to a mechanic, believe me, a clean piece of equipment is a lot more fun to work on. I'm not saying
saying they're going to do it for free, but they will appreciate that you know a thing or two about vehicles and, and machines. You know, I mean, that's that's quite a bit of dirt to come off of there. I'll clean this cover up real nice and good, too. Again, uh, I don't recommend smoking or having any flames or running engines nearby. You also should be in a well-ventilated space, which I'm not. You want to be careful how much of this stuff gets in you, because it, it can get the feeling awful funny after a bit, and uh, gasoline's not good for us, I'm going to tell you that. Anyway, that's, you know, I uh, don't suggest getting high off of this stuff. So, I think that's it. I think I'm ready to tackle this piece of junk here. You know, I don't, I don't really know what else needs to come off. I'm still having some problems seeing how in the heck I'm going to get to that radiator. Because, oh, I, I think this is it right here. Yeah, that, that does look like it. That looks like the bolt. The nut. I'm going to... Before I get my load on with it, I'm going to see what size it is. Perfect. It's a 14 millimeter. Okay. Uh, and there should be one on this side. Oh, yeah. Right there. Perfect. So, what I've got to do now is uh, this might not come off as easy as the rest of the stuff. But that looks like a bolt that needs to come off if we want some load with this radiator. Oh yeah, it's on there. So, I gotta go get me another 14 millimeter. I'll be right back. Let me stop this video. Okay, so, what I have done, I've gotten myself another 14 millimeter socket and I do have a fairly extensive tool set. Uh, and what I'm going to do is basically uh, that's a 13 son of a gun. And uh, I can't find my other ratchet of course. Oh there it is. So basically what I'm gonna do is hook this up here. Actually, I don't know if I need that. Uh, son of a gun, we got a problem, Houston. Yeah. I don't seem to have another. Let me see if it's in the truck. Oh, I'll be right back. I'm gonna use a. I don't have. You don't have to use a deep socket, but it's my only other 14 millimeter. I put that on here. Grab this one. Slip it on this other wrench. There might be another way to do it. Make sure they're both on loosen. And uh, I may be able to do this just from this one side. Ooh, gosh, that thing is really on there. Okay. Uh, time for a cheater bar. Uh, equalizer. When you have problems, get the cheater bar. Rather 
unfortunately. The other side is twisting as well. So now I've got another problem. What did I do with the other socket wrench? There it is. Okay. So what I'm going to do here is actually disconnect this. Basically, I'm going to try and wedge that thing up in here some kind of a way. Uh, yeah, 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 like so. So that when I go to. millimeter and then this thing here is wedged against the top of the engine but I'm also holding it in there by hand and uh, push down on it that wasn't good coming off. It's just really, really torqued on there. I mean, doggone! Oh! oh. Unbelievably tough. I oh, hope yours isn't so bad, man. Unbelievably tough. I mean, I'll be glad if this thing snap the bolt or some such garbage. Oh yeah, buddy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you. Holy moly. Yeah, that was really something there. That should do it. That should have been the top radiator bolt. Comes out the other side. <sighs> Amazing. I mean, doggone. You know. Once you get that bolt out, and uh, the top radiator hose, which is located in there, will need to come loose. I don't remember if that's a flathead or a Phillips, but I'm going to find out. It's a Phillips. I'm going to pull it off here. I, I'm not sure I can. I can get to this one too. <laughs> yeah, who knows? One or the other, right? You know. Top of the engine. And there's a couple more things. Ah. Uh, Man, I tell you, it's a heck of a deal. I'll slide that up here, and this thing's going to have to come off. But there's also this little hose here. Do hickey here. Uh, I'm going to try needle nose on that one. Whoops. Like, come on. Yes. sure what the heck that thing is. But I've got another one just like it on the other on the replacement radiator. So uh <clears throat> and uh oh boy. Yeah I've, that's that's been a job there. I'm going to try and see if I can get this thing off. And uh, I'm going to also loosen this little uh, clamp down here. 
the bottom clamp on on the top I mean the the outer clamp on the top hose the radiator side clamp loosened that up pretty good and uh, yeah it's 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 been a, it's getting to be a project I tell you. get it off of here if it'll do that for me. That might work as well. I'll try that one. Basically pull this clamp here. Oh gosh, I'll tell you. And see if that hose will come off. Oh man, I, if it ain't one, it's another man. This this thing's going to be real. So that, that hose, this, this top hose needs to come off. I might just clip through it, but then it's still attached. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, I really like to get the, the top radiator hose seems to want to come off. There we go. Hell yes. Oh. Frickin' hose clamp. Yeah, buddy. Oh. Well, that's simple enough. I'm just gonna unhook up here. Ugh. Maybe not. Man, I really don't know what the heck this thing is, but that needs to come off, too. And then there's these wires. Oh. two wires need to be disconnected. Oh my gosh. Oh, goody, 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 goody. Got it. Black to black. Uh, I'm hoping it's just... Oh, yes. That's probably like a, a thermostat. or I mean, a, 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 that's for your idiot light. You probably don't really, really, really have to have that, but... <laughs> Got that joker. And uh, unfortunately, there's one more bolt way down there. I don't know if you can see that. But the one good thing is about these bikes is, uh, like I said before, it's 10 millimeter. You know? So, uh,. bolt is actually up in here. It's that way. So this has to come back up just a little and uh, I don't know how I'm going to get in there. <laughs> I'm going to try and bring the camera down there. Because 
there's two things. Uh, one is I want to see where the heck this crazy bolt is. It's right there. Yeah, right there. There it is. Yeah, this uh, this could be tricky. Oh, let's see how I can do this. That's really not bad. Okay. <laughs> I didn't realize you could do that with a radiator, you know. <laughs> um, the way it works now, uh, I hopefully you can see. I'm just basically going to turn it off from this side. Uh, yeah. Basically, uh, 10 millimeter. Yeah, I'm gonna use a long one. Hopefully, this thing's got enough power. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you pull the radiator off uh, S50 Boulevard. Suzuki Boulevard S50. I'm not gonna go through the process of reinstalling it because basically installation is the reverse of removal you know um, you may have <laughs> yeah well what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pause this video while I go take a break that's what I'm gonna do and I'm gonna go install afterwards for another video that's what I'll do maybe <laughs>